Hello everyone, Noshad here. In this tutorial, we'll see how to add charts to an Xamarin Forms application. So we would be able to add bar charts, pie charts, line charts to an existing Xamarin Forms application. Uh, the aim is to display orders by individual areas. To begin with, we need to add two new get packages, micro charts and microcharts.form so we click on manage new get packages from our project and search for microcharts and then we select microcharts and microcharts.form next thing we click add packages select our projects and click ok so now the packages has been added so we could see it has been added microcharts and microcharts.form the next thing we need to add a XAML page we would name it stats page next we need to have a look at this blog post on devblocks.microsoft.com uh, on this blog it shows us how to use these microcharts within a Xamarin Forms application so mostly I'll be copying and pasting this code so to begin with I'll copy this list of entries Good. So inside stats page.xaml.cs, I'll create a new method called display chart and call this within the constructor. So I'll paste this uh, list of entries uh, on this method. The first thing we need to change these entries to chart entry. On the new version of the NuGet, the entries are no longer supported. These are called chart entries followed by importing these uh, microcharts and using Skiasharp. The next thing we need to define this chart passing this entry. So I'll copy this line of code and just simply paste it within our statspace.xaml.cs. And finally, we need to define the micro charts on our XAML page. So I'll simply copy this code and inside the stats page.xaml I'll simply paste it. And the next thing I need to bring this namespace. So that's done. Only one final thing we need to tell that we are passing this chart to this specific chart view. So we have named this chart view and we we'll just say this dot chart view dot chart is equal to our chart which is gonna be a bar chart so if we change our new page to a new stats page and run the code that should now display this bar chart and we could just simply change size of the label from this constructor of this new bar chart and then we could define the color of it as well. So I'll simply copy a Skiasharp color and paste it here. And if we run the code now, that should increase the size of our font of the bar charts. So as you could see, the font size of the labels has been increased. Now let us look how we could do a line chart using the same course. So the only one thing we need to change uh, the chart to a new line chart. And if we run the code now, that should display a line chart instead of a bar chart on our simulator. So we'll wait for the code to deploy on our simulator. So now see it's been a line chart. And for the pie chart, we simply call a chart is equals to new donut chart and now if we run the code again that should give us a pie chart instead of a line chart so we are waiting for the code to be yeah so we could see it has a new pie chart now let's see how we could display orders by individual areas so the first thing we need to define a class called area orders count 
and this class has got two variables uh, public string area and public int order counts and we need to define list of area order counts order counts and from our display chart method we need to initiate this list of area order counts the next thing we need to add area order counts object inside this order counts so we simply say order counts dot add and we define this new area order counts passing the area and the order count is integer so i'd randomly add a few more areas and the number of orders coming from those areas now for this order counts we could do a for each loop so for each bear data in order counts which is defined at the top of our display chart method which is a list of area orders count we could simply convert this data into new entry and we add that to the list of entries for the chart so we could simply say var entry is equals to new chart entry and inside the constructor we pass this data dot order count and for the body of every single chart entry I'm going to copy and paste this code for the label it's going to be data dot area for the value label we pass the data dot order count dot to string type and we get rid of this list of entries and we need to define new list of entries entries equals to new list of chart entry and inside this for each loop for every single entries we want to add this to this entries list so we simply say entries dot add and we pass this entry so for the chart we get rid of this label chart color and if we run the code we see this pie chart which has got all the colors so now we need to find a way of passing individual color for this color attributes for the chart entry so I'm going to do random ran equals to new random and then we call sk color random color equal to sk color dot from hsv and we pass three random number to generate random color So it's ren dot next within capital N. And now that we have created new random color, we could simply pass this new random color for individual chart entry. So if we run the code, we could see we get different colors for every single chart entries. Let's now add two more new charts inside a scroll view I'll put that inside a stack layout as well I change their name to line chart bar chart and donut chart we give it a height request of 500 for every single chart view and from the code behind I'll copy and paste this chart twice and we change the name of this chart to line chart and also initiate with a line chart plus and for the donut chart we change that to a donut chart and the same goes for the bar chart and now for this charts we change this dot line chart dot charts equal to new line chart and same goes for this dot bar chart dot chart is equals to bar chart and same goes for the donut chart this chart with a capital C so if we run the code now we see the data has been generated for our given list of entries so for a practical app 
we'll be displaying this chart which I have created on one of my project and we show stats the number of orders coming from individual area so it's almost the same code apart from the data is not hard coded so the data are coming from a server so everything else is same we define the list of area orders count and display the chart the only difference is I have got a services class API service and inside this service I've got a method to get last seven days orders by area that takes a list of area orders count uh, I need to pass this access token because that's for security reason so we simply call this REST API and convert this response to a JSON convert.dserialized list of area orders count and from the code behind we simply call the data calling this services.get last seven days orders passing our uh, access token and REST it's the same code we just seen on how to display charts within an application so if I run the code now you see the orders by every individual areas are displayed in bar chart pie chart and line chart and every time you refresh this page it's going to give us dynamic colors because these are generated randomly so that was it for this tutorial if you had liked this video make sure you like share and subscribe and I should see you in my next tutorial I'll probably do the same version of these charts using MVVM pattern so you know how to do that till then bye thank you